Hello, we are here today for a lesson in multiplication with our golden bead material. This lesson builds upon lessons that we have had over the last few weeks. We have learned that multiplication is just addition over and over again. So we are going to get started. We've been doing smaller multiplication numbers, but there's no reason why we can't do bigger ones also, as we see here. We're going to start in our hundreds today. With our equation of 132, 103 tens, two units, times three. So 132, three times. And we begin by first using our number cards to build the number 100, three tens, and two units, 132. Our multiplier again is three. So we're going to build this number with our golden bead material three times. Start with our units. Two, three times. One, two, three. One hundred. One. So one time. Let's do it two times. Two units. One, two. Three tens, one, two, three, one hundred, one. Let's do it our third time. Two units, one, two, three tens, one, two, three, and one hundred. 132 three times. Just like with our addition, we combine our material and count it. Two, three times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three times. Two times three is six. Three, three times, three tens, three times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three tens, three times is nine tens. One hundred three times. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred. One hundred times three is three hundred. 132 three times equals 396. 132 times three equals 396. Let's try a bigger number. Let's multiply into our thousands this time. We do our hundreds, we can definitely do our thousands. We clean up our material after each equation. Start fresh. Number cards back. The next one we'll do into our thousands. One thousand. Two hundreds, one ten, and two units multiplied three times. One thousand two hundred and twelve times three. Let's build the number first with our number cards. So 
for 100. 1,000. 200. 110. Two units. Our multiplier here is three. We will build this number with our golden bean material three times. Start with our units. Two units, one, two, one, ten, two hundredths, one, two, one thousand. One time, let's do our second time. Two units, one ten, two hundreds, one thousand. Let's do it our third time. Two units, one two, one ten. Two hundreds, one thousand. Okay, we have built our number one thousand two hundred twelve three times. So we're going to add our material together. Add our units together, tens together, hundreds together. Do it thousands together. Okay. Two units three times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two times three is six. Ten three times. One ten, two tens, three tens. Ten. 20, 30. 110 times 3 equals 30. 200 three times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 200 times 3 is 600. Okay, 1,000, three times. One, two, three. 1,000 times three equals 3,000. Okay. So our number, 1,212 times three equals 3,636. 1,212 times three equals 3,636. We'll do one more together. And then I think We'll be able to practice this at home. I wanted to do our last one just a little bit differently here as I put away our material. I know that not everybody at home has golden bead material. I didn't. I had to go to school and borrow some. But that shouldn't keep you from being able to practice our multiplication at home. So I wanted to show you things you could use at home if you don't have golden bead material. And then basically what we just want to keep in mind is the size of the objects. We know that our units are our smallest and our thousands are our big ones. So I thought for units, maybe I could use the very small dried split peas. 
And for my tens, I could use a little bit bigger dried pinto beans. And for my hundreds, I need something bigger than the beans and the peas. I thought pennies could work pretty well for my hundreds. And for my big thousands, I found some rocks that are bigger than my pennies and my beans. So we, I'm gonna show you how we can use materials at home to still practice our multiplication. Same concept. So let's do our next problem here, the bigger one. 2,100, two tens, one unit, 2,121 times four. So we're gonna set this problem out four times. So let's build it with our number cards first. 2,000, two tens, and one unit. And our multiplier is four. So we're gonna build this four times. And I'm gonna use my at-home materials here to show you how we can do the same work without the golden bead material. So my units, my little peas, one unit, two tens, my pinto beans, one, two, one hundred, and two thousands. Now I have to do that four times. So let's set up this number a second time. One unit, two tens, 100, 2000. So my third time, one unit, two tens, 100, 2000, okay, four times, let's do it one more time. One unit, two tens, 100, and 2000. Okay, we have our number 2,121 laid out four times. So we're gonna put all our material together and count it up. My hundreds and my thousands together. Okay, I'm gonna count my small units one, four times. One, two, three, four. One times four is four. Two tens four times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twenty times four equals 80 for eight tens. 100 four times. 100, 200, 300, 400. 100 times four is 400. Two thousands four times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two thousand times four is eight thousand. Four. 
2,121 times four equals 8,484. 8,484. We did this just for materials found around my house. So we encourage you to make your own materials and keep practicing these big multiplication problems. You have the equations in your work file. And I hope you had fun with the lesson. See you next time.